Hi you guys, it's Lindsay here and I know it's been a while since I have um, uploaded a video and even longer since I've done a chat video with you guys. I have done some pattern reviews or fabric reviews, you know, where I model the garment that I made and talk to you about how I made it, but I haven't sat down and talked with you guys in a long, long time. So I thought I would give you guys a bit of a life update because there is never a dull moment over here <laughs> and lots of um, exciting things are happening and then also some sort of bummer things are happening so I thought I would just kind of give you um, an update on what's been going on over here so um, if you saw the sort of life update where we've been video that I posted I don't know maybe last October November then you know I was kind of struggling with this feeling of not feeling good, but not really knowing what it was. Um, I was thinking it was maybe adrenal fatigue, but maybe it was some kind of deficiency and I wasn't really sure. So I was seeing a doctor and since then I have not seen a ton of improvement. I lie. Actually, there's been a lot of improvement since then, but nothing consistent and I certainly don't feel right. Um, and I had that experience that everyone dreads when you've been going to the doctor, you've been poked, you've been prodded, you've been tested through the wazoo, spent all kinds of money on those tests, and your doctor tells you you're crazy and it's all in your head. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. That's what she told me. Um, she told me that the supplements that I was taking were poisoning me and that there was nothing she could do for me. So that was a pretty overwhelming day, let's just say. Um, and I sort of, I did take a little bit of what she had to say to heart. I think that maybe women in particular have, it's like two sides. I feel like we push through things that maybe we shouldn't push through and then that leads us to a more dangerous place. Um, I also think that we are like creatures of inertia and once we get headed down a certain path and we get this like idea planted in our heads, that idea almost manifests itself and can kind of take over. So when she was telling me that I was crazy and it was all in my head, at first I was like so upset and so pissed off and so frustrated. But then I started to think about it a little bit and I was like, you know what, I am giving myself a lot of excuses for not doing things that I normally do and things that normally make me feel good um, because I think that I am sick or because I am feeling a little bit down. So in the past, I guess that was probably, I don't know, maybe three weeks ago. So the past few weeks I have really tried to think mind over matter and you know, think happy thoughts. I know that sounds so cliche um, to just find happiness and you'll be happy. And it doesn't work that way all the time, but it has helped a little bit. Um, I think changing your mindset can really affect so many areas. That doesn't mean that I'm not sick and that doesn't mean that I still don't feel badly, but I'm not making it worse. Like I'm not exacerbating it by also having this bad attitude about it too. Um, so what I've been doing since then is I stopped taking all those supplements um, and I have narrowed it down to what I believe the root cause is um, and I think that it is a gut imbalance so or a um, or a gut bacteria imbalance it's called leaky gut you can look it up and basically your body has good bacteria and then um, based on what you eat um, and just like natural things that happen inside of our bodies, you also have bad bacteria. And it's supposed to be like an 85% good bacteria and a 15% bad bacteria, that would be balanced. And if the, if the bad bacteria is overshadowing the good bacteria, like all kinds of crazy things can happen to you. Um, the most notable symptoms would be like bloating and issues eliminating, <laughs> we'll just leave that there um, and it can also impact your skin 
you can give headaches, anxiety, depression. I mean, so many things can be the root cause of your gut and this bad bacteria just taking over. So I've, I have been researching different probiotics. Um, I think what the biggest thing I learned was is that not all probiotics are created equal and that actually the acid in your stomach can be so strong that it just eats up the probiotic and you have no um, presence of any good flora um, even though you're spending all this money on probiotics they're not cheap and you um, you know you're just not uh, you're not um, absorbing any of that like it's not actually making a difference so I have found one um, and I just started it here recently so I don't want to tell you anything about it because I don't want to say one way or another whether it's helping or not helping or anything until I can give it probably a good few weeks, a month, maybe longer. So I will keep you posted on that. I am feeling optimistic about it. Um, so we'll see. I've also continued to take magnesium. That's the one thing that I think, um, the one supplement that I've, that I've kept because that does help um, in the elimination process <laughs> and I have added an iodine supplement um, there's been a lot of research done out there that shows really a lot of us are iodine deficient uh, and we don't even know it um, iodine used to be very present in the foods that we got from the food store um, but due to several different reasons that is not as present as it used to be and there's really no other, other way to get it so I'm doing those three things and I am, well, I guess it's four things if you consider the think happy thoughts. Um, and I am feeling, like I said, optimistic, still have good days, still have bad days, but I am not giving up because I will feel good if it kills me. Well, that's pretty serious and sort of literal, but you know what I mean. Um, and then on top of that, I've got really, really exciting news. Actually, very, 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 very exciting news. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I live and work in a shoebox. Um, this place is 560 square feet. Um, so basically one area, like my, my kitchen island serves probably six different purposes one of them being my cutting table another one being my actually sewing table where i set up my sewing machines to sew um i iron here i cook here i eat here i work here like this this island here has been a real workhorse for me um but i am moving I am moving not very far from where I am now, but like in the same city, but I am getting a dedicated sewing room. Yes, people, it is happening. I am getting a two bedroom place and the guest bedroom will serve as my sewing room and also my filming room. Um, where I'll be able to do YouTube videos. So I am super excited. I don't move for a few more weeks, but I have already started packing. <laughs> I have already um, done some like space designing. Like I got, I went online and found this like free room designer where you put in the measurements of the room and you can play around with furniture placement and stuff. I've already got all that figured out. I know exactly what furniture pieces I'm gonna buy, exactly what storage pieces I'm gonna get. Um, and I've got some really cool, fun ideas. I asked my followers on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter to let me know if y'all would like to see that process. And no one said no. Everyone said yes. And it was very enthusiastic. Yes. Um, not a pity. Yes. Like, okay, fine. No, um, people really want to see that. So I'll be filming the process, um, and then do like a, like a room reveal, room tour type thing. Um, but basically I'm super excited about it. The neighborhood is like, you know, when I moved in here, no one has lived in this unit before me. Um, so the neighborhood wasn't established yet. It was so new. And over time it has come a place that is just not really in line with my lifestyle. Take that for what it's, for what it's worth, I guess. Um, there are a lot of younger people here, a lot of college students. 
um and so a lot of the things in this neighborhood like the amenities i can't even enjoy because they are just overrun by these younger skinnier <laughs> more beautiful people um but the new neighborhood although it is brand new too and i will be the only one that has ever lived in that unit um i don't know it feels like it's going to be more mature it feels like it's going to be um more like of my contemporary so i'm excited about that um and just the new space like having more space is going to be just so awesome i almost don't even know what i'm going to do with myself there are so many closets so much storage so many cabinets like i'm almost tripling the space i have here well actually it's 560 and i'm going to almost 12. so i'm almost i'm doubling i'm a little more than doubling the space that i have here um and i am just like excited and overwhelmed and i don't know it's going to be a lot of fun I'm, it's going to be like my first real grown-up place so i'm excited about that and i say that even though i used to own a house and you would think that would be your most grown-up space but it wasn't i was far too young um whenever i bought that house that was such a silly thing to do anyways so super excited so you'll see some changes obviously like everything behind me will all be different <coughs> and yeah it'll be really cool so i'm really excited to have y'all along for that journey so that's really it those are the couple things that have been up um with me since i last chatted with you guys um i am going to be filming some more videos here shortly i'm going to get back into doing monthly favorites monthly makes all those things that i know you guys love so much i have been sewing i just haven't been filming what i've been sewing <laughs> um i've got some really exciting favorites coming up i guess they would be our june favorites that i'll post later this week um i've also got a really fun tutorial planned for making bias tape um using new and exciting tools to make that process easier more precise um more professional looking so i'll be sharing those with you i've got a cali fabrics post um that's due in june i've got a blank slate patterns post that's due in june so yeah i've got a lot of content coming your way thank you a million times for just being patient i know a lot of you've been wondering where is she and what is going on um so i just really appreciate you guys giving me the time every now and again to kind of take a breather um and not really feel too much pressure by doing this because i still want the channel to be fun for me and i don't want it to ever feel like work or chore or like that thing in the back of my mind like oh i've really got to do that i've got to do that and then that causes stress which causes anxiety which causes depression which causes me to not think happy thoughts and isn't that the whole point right <laughs> so thank y'all so much for that and i guess i will see y'all soon bye